Room there for Turby. Women's 100 Butterfly S13 on their way to the blocks. Valerie Grand Maison, the local swimmer from Canada, goes in lane number three. The only seer up from Romania in lane one. Colleen Young had a good swim yesterday. She goes in lane two for the USA. But Valerie Grand Maison, can she get on the medal podium? Can she be on the top of the medal podium? She'll have this lady to contend with, Rebecca Ann Myers from the USA. Tegan Van Roosmalen, already two medals in the bag for the Australian, goes in lane five. Leticia Freitas from Brazil in six. Kaylin Curry from USA in lane seven. And Ragna Forsa from Norway is going in lane number eight. So Valerie Grand Maison in three, four, Canada. 110.05 to qualify. There's the world record of Yvonne Hopf. 105.95. But that young lady there, Valerie Grand Maison, a great face of Canadian swimming in lane three. What can she do tonight? Can she dip under 110? I'm sure she can, but she's going to have to dip under one minute nine. Myers stopping the clock in 108.87, and they're away. Valerie Grand Maison, good underwater, look at that, and into the lead, my word, that is blistering. She's two-thirds of a body length clear of the rest of the field. Myers can't stay with her, can this be a gold medal for Canada? Valerie Grand Maison, Myers trying to get back at her with every stroke, of course, and she is. It looks like she's tiring a little. Valerie Grand Maison short into the stroke at the turn, 30.95, but good underwater, taking a metre and a half away. Can the gold medal go to Canada? Well, we haven't heard, oh, Canada in this Olympic spool, in this pool in Montreal, but could it be the first time? What a fantastic swim here for Valerie Grand Maison, Rebecca Ann Myers coming back in the closing stages, but it's not gonna happen for the American because the gold is gonna go to Canada. Valerie Grand Maison takes it in 106.7. Three, the gold to Canada, silver to USA, and the bronze to Australia, Tegan Van Roosmalen. But this young lady, she wanted that one so badly, and it's the gold to Canada that the Canadian home crowd have been waiting for all week. I think she adjusted her stroke into the turn there. She did three short strokes to make sure she finished on a full stroke. And let's not forget the S13 classification, have a, a visual impairment. So the experience of her, she knew she had to do so many strokes to get down the length. She was long and she was strong and she was quick. And the experience, something told her brain to say, do three slightly shorter strokes so you can touch the wall on a full stroke length. And my word, she was great underwater. She was great off the starting blocks. Look at the streamlining there. Hands interlock, their head tight, tight, tight between your arms and head down into the first stroke. And once again, great range of movement, trying to get those hands in the shoulder line and the hips coming up, head leading the stroke down very quickly. A strong double leg kick, kicking the hands in, kicking the hands out. Pure drama here and Canada taking a fantastic gold medal here in the women's 100 metres butterfly S13. Pulled away out of the turn after great underwater skills. Maintained her speed on every single stroke across every single metre, just didn't tie up at all. What a great, great gold medal. She looks across, she can just about see that she is the first to the wall, Valerie Grand Maison, the local swimmer here, the home favourite, and she's delivered for the host nation. In 106, 106.73, and the world record has stood since 1996. My 